garlic soup. Amazing, delicious, simple to make, easy. Oh my gosh, but so good and healthy. Very healthy for you. Very popular throughout France. Everywhere you go in France, they have a version. And I'm going to show you in this video how to do a couple versions. And it is so good. This will change your life. <laughs> Anyways, subscribe, watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. Bonsoir. Okay, let me introduce you to my ingredients for my beautiful garlic soup. It's super easy to make. Delicious. And you can do variations of this, but let me show you what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use six cups of uh, chicken stock that I made. Um, you can also use like half water, half chicken stock, but I prefer using all chicken stock. I'm going to use two potatoes, which I'm going to peel and dice. Um, I'm going to peel and drop it in water and dice it when I'm ready to cook. Um, I got three small garlic cloves, so if you have two large ones, that's enough. And I'm just going to peel these, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a bouquet garni, which is basically a fancy way of saying tiny bunch of vegetables. I mean, excuse me, herbs together. <laughs> so I'm going to have thyme, sage, and parsley in there with a bay leaf. I'm going to use um, duck fat um, to saute my garlic and my potatoes. Uh, you can also use bacon. Um, you can just dice it and use the fat for the bacon and cook it. That's a little heavier for me, so I like the duck fat. You can also use just plain old butter and add some olive oil and saute it that way. But I find that the duck fat really gives it a lot of flavor and is definitely worth an investment in trying to do this. Um, you're going to need some salt. I'm using sea salt. Um, it's coarse black pepper, um, so good olive oil. And you're going to need three eggs, uh, the yolks of the eggs. And yeah, that covers it. So let me show you what we need to start doing. And I'm not going to put you through all this prep, but I'm just going to show you an example of one garlic, what I'm going to do. Now, this dish, the garlic is going to not make it um, strong garlic. It's going to be more of a sweet garlic. And I'm going to show you why. Because, so I'm holding the bulb on the side, and I'm just, with my hand, I break it, look how it comes apart. It's very easy. All right. And we just separate that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you one. I'm going to roughly peel that. And now I'm going to lightly take my knife and a little tap, not a hard tap, and then twist, and it'll peel like that. Um, you can also cut the very tip of it so the growth comes out, which I should have done first, but eh, it's not a big deal. All right, so I'm gonna do all these garlics like I did like that. So again, just take your garlic, tap it gently. You don't wanna go too hard because you don't wanna mix the oils into that garlic. And if you do, that's what's gonna happen. So just a gentle tap, just enough to, you can twist it. And we'll be back. Okay, so I peeled my potatoes. I peeled my garlics. I did all three cloves, um, well, uh, three bunches, and um, it comes out to I don't know, quite a few garlics, probably about I don't know, maybe like thirty-five, something like that. Um, so now I'm not gonna dice my potatoes till I'm ready to put that in there, because I want to keep the starch that has in the potato. If I cut that up and put it in the water, the starch will go away. So what I want to do now is take my bouquet mayonnaise and I'm just going to take the bay leaf and stick it in the middle. Now you can use a cheesecloth too to do this. 
Um, let's say you don't have fresh herbs. Um, you can put it in a couple tricks I use. If that happens, um, I can use a tea container that I have handy. So this is what you grab a pot of water with tea normally, but I'll put my dried herbs in there. And that's my bouquet galnia if I need to. I always prefer to use um, fresh herbs. And I'm just going to make a nice tight knot. And that's it. I'm going to cut the edge, but this is ready to go. I'm just going to put it over here. And another little trick I want to show you, if you like cleaning a lot of cutting things, put a small cutting board next to you so you can just push everything to the side and then easily throw it in the trash. A little tip there. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to move this camera so you can see. Um, another variation that you can do that I do often is I add a leek to this. Um, so when I put in the garlic and the potatoes, I'll add a, a, a sliced leek that you want very well. I have a video on how to do that. Um, um, I'll put a link so you can see that. All right, so let's get cranking. All right, so we're back. <laughs> so I'm using a heavy casserole. Um, it's just much more easier. You can also use any heavy pot. If you don't have any of those, uh, you can use, say, like what you cook your pasta in. Um, just adjust the heat a little lower and uh, you'll be fine. But this is a very good investment. It's a Dutch oven. It's a very good investment. You could use it for many of my recipes. Okay, so I'm going to take a spoon, two spoons of this beautiful duck fat, three spoons, and if I need more, I doubt it, I can add it. Now, once I open this, I need to refrigerate it. By the way, you can get this duck fat at Whole Foods. You can get it online. It's a great investment. All right, we're going to turn on the heat. And we're going to put it on a medium, medium high heat. Ah, medium. Now that I'm ready for my potatoes, I'm going to that so I can dice this up real quick. And I'll pause this, and this will heat up, and I'll dice this, and we'll be ready at that point. So, this is heating up. I'm going to just drop my garlics. Oh, when I saved this garlic, I wanted to show you something. If you do get a garlic that has a little discoloration, just cut it out like that. It's perfectly good. I have two that I saved to show you. See that little, yeah, you just take that out. Like that. Okay, now we're going to drop our garlic. We're going to drop our potatoes. Potatoes, or tartos. All right. We're going to saute those for five minutes. What I'm doing it right now is coating it in, in that duck fat. I'm making sure to really toss that well. Or else it's going to stick on you. There we go. Good. Nice good coating. That's my tasting spoon for later. All right. Now we're going to give that five minutes. And then I'm going to drop my chicken stock that I made, and I had it frozen, and I defrosted it in the refrigerator overnight, and uh, still has a little bit of ice in there, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. And uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. And show you what that looks like. Just about five minutes. You notice the duck fat at the bottom is browning, but not my garlic and not my potatoes, because I'm stirring. And that's good. That's what I want. All right, let's switch cameras and we'll do the rest. The goal here is just to soften the garlic and the potatoes and if you have leaves also, don't let it brown. So you gotta, you know, mix it around, stir it around. 
occasionally. Very like about uh, a minute. Okay. We still got about two or three minutes to go, so <laughs> sorry about all these. Oh, got my duck fat at the bottom, that's brownie, not my duck toast, not my garlic. At the bottom. I did a close up so you can see. Now, that's plenty. Over in the heat real quick. And I'm gonna take my beautiful chicken stock that I made. And this is a clear chicken stock. It's a really standard stock. Um, simple to make, just takes three or four hours to it simmers and cooks. Okay, now we're gonna give this a nice stir. looks like just calmly cooking it calmly adding all that flavor beautiful oh my gosh I wish you could smell this it is just amazing so we've been simmering gently gently for 30 minutes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bouquet down here out. Look how easy that is. I'll let it drip a little bit. Mmm. All that flavor in there. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to get what extra leaves left and put them aside. You gotta judge it. 
So you notice how it's starting to thicken already? Yeah, look at that. But we need a little more. I hope you, you have good arms. <laughs> if you don't, um, well, a trick I used to use was a, a blender. I put the egg yolks at the bottom, put the blender on, and a, a slow drizzle in to make my eye loody. That's this fine. It works great. As a matter of fact, when I make my bouillabaisse, which folks, I haven't made this, my bouillabaisse, uh, on video, and I won't till the spring. I think it's more of a summer dish anyways. So maybe I'll save it, save it to show you guys how to make it in the, in the summer. But that's when I always ate it, was in the summer in the south of France. Okay, you see this, how it's thickening? Beautiful. And my soup, a nice low simmer, you know, 30 minutes, it's not an exact thing. Alright, look at that. And this is gonna do magic for this soup. There we go. Add a little bit more. I'm starting to like what it looks like. scary part. <laughs> it's not scary at all. But people freak out about this part. Actually, look at how beautiful that is. Let's do one more time. And if you don't have uh, one of these things um, for your olive oil, get one. It makes it so much easier to make sauces because it automatically screams it for you, those liquor things. And the bottles I use are basically wine bottles. These particularly are rosé bottles. Look at that. Okay. Look at them. Almost work. You know what? One more. One more. And we'll call it a day. I guess I could fast forward this and do something that makes it quicker. But I think it's important that you see how it comes together. And you can judge it. See how it's thick now? Look at that. Okay, now, rest your arm. Because this part, you gotta do it quickly. Because this is hot. So I'm gonna turn off the heat here. I'm gonna double check, see if this is as thick as I want. And it is. You see that? Eh, let's do one more. Like mayonnaise. See that? Okay. Okay, one more. I know I keep saying that, but that's how I judge it. Let's see how it's coming together. Oh, yeah. Now, look. See that? I hope you can see that. How thick that is? All right. Okay. Get your ladle. And just get juice. Like that. Now, this is very important. Prepare to stir quickly. So we're going to drop it in there. 
And if you don't stir it quickly, it will become scrambled eggs. Because it's flat. And that's what it should look like. And keep stirring. Don't think you're done. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's do another drop. And keep stirring. Now it's easy. You're, you're out of the woods at this point. You are. Look at that. Okay. Now you're going to just keep adding it. And you could do two now. Don't worry about adding garlic or anything. That's fine. Now you're just going to get everything in there, stir lightly. Oh, see how that's spinning? I'll show you a trick. Alright. Oh, we're just going to get all that. Yeah, I'm just making sure that my potato can dissolve. So I'm pressing down, see if it's cooked enough. And you see, it is. So we're just gonna add that in. Stir, 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 stir. Gently. You can relax now. This is the hardest part. We're just gonna empty this guy out. Now, you can empty this out and get a clean, pot, but I, I don't think that's necessary, and I'll tell you why. I think I want to keep as much as the original flavor in here as I can. Now remember, I seasoned it with salt earlier, but after we put it back in here, Oh, I'm using it so it doesn't spit. Let me get another one. All right. And it heats off. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna wrap all that in there. You can clean this if you like. I don't think it's necessary. I did say that it's not necessary because it's all good flavor. And you're not a Michelin star restaurant. Thick. Just kidding. This is, I think, better than putting it in all whatever. Anyways, that's my humble opinion. I'm sure I'll get comments. Which, by the way, love comments. Okay. Now, we're going to put it back in. And we're going to Put it through a strainer and smush. And put it through the strainer and smush. Smush, smush, smush. You can use a spoon. I just use my ladle, and at the end, I'll use this. See what I'm doing? Like that. Okay, let's get some more. Oh, I wish you, I really wish, really wish you guys could smell this. Good. I'm out in there. Spring, huh? 
set. Keep circling, keep circling, keep circling. And look how that just does magic right there. You circle it. Now, it's a Steve trick. <laughs> you see how I did that? All right, we're almost there. We want as much of that goodness as possible. All right, that's good. Okay. And I'm just going to give this a good mix. Now, I'm going to turn this back up, but do not, do not boil. You just want to keep it warm. Now let's say you did this a little bit ahead of time, not too ahead of time, um, like I did. I'm just going to cover it and turn off the heat. And I'll keep it warm enough for at least, I don't know, like 45 minutes to an hour. And then when my guests arrive, I'll turn the heat on low, bring it to a simmer, not a boil, simmer, and I'll serve it. And I will put my croutons or my browned sliced baguettes. Um, so look uh, in my, uh, you'll see, I, I did a, a segment on just the, the, the baguettes, and now I'm gonna show you how to do the croutons. So I'm gonna move the camera, and we'll be back. And I'm gonna cover this, because I need to wait. <laughs> Heat off though. Just keep it warm. All right. Oops. One more thing. You need to taste this for seasoning. Mm. Very good. So I would say three good pinches of salt. Now you can use white pepper. I like coarse black pepper. Just give it a little bit of heat, but not much. And I'll stir. There we go. And another taste. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Okay. So like you see in my video, I take the bread and slice it thinly, lightly boil it on each side, brown it on each side, and put it back and put some Gliao cheese on it. Or you can take the bread, it's what's left of my baguette, sorry would make more, but I just wanted to show you this other simple process. And if you're using a smaller baguette, this is really perfect. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some olive oil in there. And I'm just going to toss it. Well cooked the olive oil. The bread, excuse me. Now, you can't do this too ahead of time. You gotta do it maybe within an hour when you're gonna do it, or else it's gonna, you know, get soft and yucky. All right, look at that. Okay. Now, what I like to do is I add a little pepper, a little bit of salt, and I toss it again. I used another spoon. I like using my hands. And by the way, my hands are washed. They're clean. Um, there we go. Now, you just throw it on there. Make sure you, your broiler is on. And we're just going to throw it in the oven until brown. I'll show you what that looks like, but it's super simple.
simple, and you can drop those, and they're whole tongs. Yeah, easy to make. Just got to make it relatively soon. You can do this for bread. You can, I mean, a salad. You can do this for other things as well. But simple, quick, easy, delicious. We'll be back. Beautiful. Here's my croutons. homemade croutons and what I'm going to do is you, you could drop some parmesan on there or some glia which is a Swiss French cheese which is delicious or you can use uh, American Swiss cheese and yeah so we'll top that with a soup I'm going to let it cool and just cover it like that until we're ready. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. That's my point. Um, thank you very much to my subscribers. I really appreciate it. More to come. We'll be back. Hey, uh, let's check on those croutons. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. Perfect for my soup. Look at that. All right, we're ready to serve plates, and let's just do that. My beautiful creamy garlic potato soup. Be generous. Take some beautiful boutons, lightly put a little bit of bouillon on there, and we're gonna just sprinkle, oh. sprinkle a little parsley on that. There you go. And then just lightly add some more Cleau or Swiss cheese. Just a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Here you have it. Bon soir, bon appétit. Please subscribe. And like it, comment. And like it if you liked it. <laughs> I love comments, I will respond to them. Share it with your friends. Anyways, thank you for the privilege of your time. Bonsoir, merci.